Two, another commentary. Oops, did it again. The commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be on Blue Bastic Demon, which is kind of the Katrina esque map. It's um, yeah. <laughs> You'll see the map features as the map is revealed. One of those maps that's a little bit less familiar for either player. I assume because it's not a ladder map. I think it's a BSL exclusive map. BSL Mighty. Red turn, bottom left and corner, 12 o'clock location. You have Aegis as the pink Zerg. Right now, I gotta say, I feel like Mighty has Aegis' number with this mech play. And I'm wondering if he can continue to do more of the same. Because really, by doing kind of this defensive mech start, he's putting, he's very, doing a great job of working against what Aegis' incredible skill set is, which is a lot of these early timings to kill an overly greedy expanding Terran, or a Terran who's just kind of do M&M, &M, or going for those kind of standard timings. Again, Vespine Geyser Trick, special links to Twitch chat. I think it was, I'll look for someone to claim credit, but they were saying, I noticed out of the corner of my eye, they were saying that's actually, when you do the drone trick, it actually sets you a little bit economically behind. It's not worth it. Which is why you don't see it as much anymore. Overlord produced first. It looks like we are setting up for a 12th hatch. Barracks. In the gap. Interesting, the supply depot not in the gap to follow. And we do see that hatchery now be t being taken from Aegis. Once again, gas down for Mighty. So he is definitely opting to move into mid-game mech play. And Overlord going to try to come across this back corner for scouting information there. The drone scout is moving to that back, that bottom right-hand base. Mighty should be able to get a fairly safe scout. Regardless. <laughs> and again, there's no ramp, and this isn't... Is that a seal? I don't think it's a seal. Point being, I think Aegis, if he keeps up with the scouting pattern, should be able to at least get inside the base. Not that he... I, from his position, it'd be like, I'm expecting more of the same. Three SCVs on the refinery. Spawning pool about halfway finished. Hatchery about halfway finished, currently. And so, knowing Mighty is kind of doing the same thing both directions, I'm wondering if Agistel's gonna trade up his game a little bit. Because thus far, he's kind of gone... I think he was a little bit greedy to try to take two hatcheries in between there. Can the drone get past that? Apparently that's a seal. That surprises me. All right. Maybe if the overlord gets a look at the... Sometimes you can like move the overlord to the corner and see the mineral field and then like drone drill your way across. But, huh. All right. Knowledge from Bublastic Demon. That actually kind of gives a little bit of an indicator that Mighty knows this map as well and is prepared for it. Factory mostly finished. Third hatchery down interior base for Aegis. He's really liked that free hatch Hydra play thus far, as far as an early survival mechanism against the Mecking Terran. He hasn't successfully managed to do any sort of damage with the Hydralisk push that he's done in, and I'm, I'm hoping he abandons that. Keeps the Hydralisks alive, uses them for pressure, but once he sees a sizable attack force, backs off from there. Factory's up, mostly silent. Command center, once again, inside the base. And a second factory being plopped down with an armory for Mighty. Sutton Colony at the natural expansion upgrading, just in case vultures were making their way across. Critically here for for Aegis, comparatively, SCV Scout took a little bit of drone damage, but didn't press in otherwise. And I don't see any Zerglings. Aegis has gone pure drone and is going straight to lair. Wondering if he's going to opt for two-hatch Muta. Which, if he hits it, honestly, there's a timing here where there's not going to be... I don't think there's going to be enough Goliaths to deal with it. Second Extractor being plopped down, which definitely suggests we're seeing Muta instead of... Well, I take it back. Hyperless Den, about halfway finished. And Lair being upgraded, which suggests we're seeing two-hatch Lurker instead. Just two, zer two Zerglings being produced, a pair. Two Goliaths on the front. We do have a single Vulture and a single Marine. 
otherwise, Vulture making its way across. I don't think it can, with the SimCity and whatnot, I don't think it can get much done against that single sun colony. And I'll be curious to see whether it is, I assume we're going to see Lurker Aspect. Especially because Hydralis Speed is upgrading here. And I think we're going to see another, well, I don't know. Kind of odd, odd play to go to Lair. Okay, we are seeing the Spire. Yeah, I was going to say, because usually you don't see Hydralisk Speed being upgraded like this in the window where you'd be able to build Lurkers. So I think this is going to be a two-hatch Hydra Muta mix all-in dive to the natural expansion. Once again, Mighty only at a... Well, he's producing more Marines now, which is wise against Agistol. Two Goliaths, a single Marine, and a Bunker to provide the defense here. Third Factory is up. He actually smelling this. Smelling this instantaneous, uh, yeah, getting Charon, already feeling this. He is inside Agistel's head. Charon Booster is being upgraded. Right off the bat. But, with a decent mix of Hydralisks and Mutalisks, there still might be enough to press through the mech here. And also, level 1 armor is just starting. And I believe the timing of everything, with the Spire just finishing. Looks like he's saving Larva for this. Although he only has enough gas to produce... He doesn't have enough gas to really make this work. He might be able to, to pull something off. We'll see. Mutalus in production. That is a full nine. Question two is, is okay, does he go into the main against what is going to be, it looks like, eight? Goliath by, by the time he makes it across here. The Goliaths are rather slow, keep in mind. But I'm I'm curious about the second round. Also getting weapons one upgrade. Hydralis speed upgrade underneath it. We do see a third hatch for eight for Agistol. But I'm wondering if we're gonna see on the next round of larva Hydralis being produced. Two turrets right there. Mighty well prepared for this. Moving in, eating a lot of damage. Now working on the turret. There, are, There is one Goliath there. Two mules, very weak. One of them down. Root repair on that turret. The Goliath finding the time to try to sneak in. That is blue flame. I'm wondering if he's going to still go for it. Still trying to get what SCV kills he can. And still dedicating. Oh, I don't like this. Now backing off. So out of the nine, only seven remain. The main is somewhat exposed. And it looks like, rather than, okay, but I do like the, and it looks like he's repositioning to maybe do a, a dive at the natural and see what he can find there. Bit more of a spread. The Goliaths at a much closer position. I'm not sure if he realizes those Goliaths have the Charm Booster upgrade. Now out of the nine, down to five. And again, trying to take the two bases on the corner. Not a good start, I think, for Agistol. And armor just about finished. This is a point where Mighty, if he wants to move out, can make a move. And that's a lot of resources that are, are pinned down in these hatcheries. And not a lot of ground army. But, critically, with these Mutalisks, there's kind of a force. You gotta stay back with a, a, a couple Goliaths to deal with the, the Mutalisk count. And that level 1 weapons, which is just upgrading now. But this is still only 5 Mutalisks on the ground. Good drone saturation, but again, I just don't think it's going to be enough. 5 Mutalisks trying to just... Nice little... Making them work. Delaying that factory just a little bit. Now they need to get out of there. Is he going to lose another one? Ugh. Softening them up quite a bit. Evolution Chamber down. Queen's Nest being built. So going straight to mm, Hive Tech. And unfortunately, I feel like he's doing the push to the tech and droning up right when he's relying on Mighty to play passively. And I don't know that that's a solid guarantee for this stage of the match. Because I think Mighty's going to move out momentarily. And I don't think that right this second, Edge still has enough to defend. Academy being built. Level 1 weapons now upgraded. Some siege tanks being produced as well. And Burrow being upgraded. Interesting. 
three evolution chambers to get that really go uh, it's like the Zerg equivalent of Gateway Man, Ogre Zerg. Full hatchery count, we have four, five, six, seven overall. So that can produce in a hurry. There's a lot of drones out, actually superior drone count for Aegis. But against the amount of mech he's rolling up against, he needs to start producing immediately to push back what he's going up against. I think once Siege Check is finished, Mighty's probably going to move out. He might wait for Weapons 1. Some Hydalists are being produced. Hive Tech's just about finished. My concern is, is that Mighty's going to... Or sorry, that Agistol's once again going to try to go for that Ultralisk play. And with this amount of mech out, I don't think it's going to work. Mighty making his way out. Mutalisks making their way across. Plopping down a lot more turrets. There is one Goliath back at home base. And this is only five Mutalisks. So not enough to cause Mighty to turn back. Adrenal glands being upgraded for Cracklings. This is a lot of Hydralisks. They might be able to catch this army out of position. They are catching one Goliath there, it looks like, on the high ground. Mighty having trouble gathering up a little bit. Slowing him down. This is exactly what Aegis needs. Slow that army down. He is building that Ultralisk Cavern. Level 1 weapons is going to upgrade in the midst of this fight. Five mules coming overhead. The rest of the Hydro is pressing in. Backing up to the Siege Tank line. Siege Tanks in range. Pounding on those Hydralisks now. And the Hydralisk army is almost at equal numbers and under... Well, actually, level 1 weapons, level 1 armor against these Goliaths. This might be enough. But those Siege Tanks continue to rain Hellfire down on that Mutalist line. So the initial reinforcements for Aegis have been wiped out. Still four Goliaths and three Siege Tanks stand. And a couple Overlords being taken out overhead. Aegis is down to 58 supply. Sea tanks remaining on siege, dealing with these Hydalists on the low ground. More reinforcements moving up for Mighty. He's got practically twice the supply. I think Aegis is holding out to maybe build... No, he's building some Mutalists to try to counter this. But this is a full grouping of Goliaths. Working in the Overlords, absorbing a bit of damage. And this is a race between Mighty and his Mighty Mighty Mech. And Aegis' ability to macro. One hatchery is certainly going to get taken down. Hydralis trying to swing down, maybe cut off reinforcements. Level 1 weapons upgrade is in place. And I think this might be enough Goliaths to deal with any Mutalists that were being fielded. <laughs> Sneeze commentary. Unfortunately... Hydralis being caught on Rally Point. A bunch of Mutalists being produced all at once. Some Hydralis sneaking in underneath on the Siege Tanks. Aegis might have been able to defend this. I think he also pulled those drones back before they were taken out. So... Oh, it's not enough. More Mutalists being produced. Does Aegis have a large enough economy to just continue to swarm this, though, and pound it down? More reinforcements... Making their way up. Natural expansion is empty. Several Mutalists on top of those Goliaths before they're in position. Some Zerglings underneath. Those Siege Tanks probably going to get cleaned up here. One Siege Tank on that right-hand corner going to get wiped out. And there's GG from Aegis. He doesn't feel he has enough. Seeing all of those reinforcements flood in. This is the best of seven, but Mighty has taken three games. To Agistil's one. I believe that's correct. We will be moving in to the next match. He is Aegis on the verge of elimination. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.